Hey y'all, what's going on? Welcome to week three of our at-home bodyweight program. Today is day one, and today we're mixing things up for you guys. We have a full body workout, full body blast. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Your skill work for the day is going to be building our vertical jump, yep. which is important for anybody and everybody. Mm -hmm. um, just improving our landing skills, mm -hmm. essentially as well. So we've got that. Let's get going with our warm up. Let's start today with some jumping jacks. So make sure you have enough space where you can reach your arms out long here. We'll go light on the toes. We'll go for 30 seconds, okay? Go on in three, two, one. Here we go. We're gonna take our arms overhead. Again, getting those shoulders nice and warm. Start to cue in with your breathing already from the get-go. Awesome job. And for some of you, if you wanna take your arms out in front here, again, just trying to get things loose and moving. So whatever feels best. We'll go for about 10 more seconds. Nice job. Good, hold on to it for five, four, three, two, one. Excellent job. Again, we're getting right into it today. We've got high knees going in three, two, one. Here we go. And I'm gonna ease into mine slowly, just starting to speed that up. Get those knees up. Job. Again, hopefully you guys are ready for today's workout. We're switching it up so it's not just lower body, not just upper body, but we've got full body today. Keep it going for five, four, three, two, one. Excellent job. We've got butt kicks. Ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. Again, just kind of easing into it and then I'm gonna try to get my heels all the way to my booty. Good job. We want to start the week off right. Again, day one right here. Jumping right into it. Gonna keep a good attitude. Hard work the whole time. Excellent job. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. We got our Frankenstein kicks. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, here we go. Again, maybe you're feeling like your balance is getting better as you go through these. Hopefully you're feeling like you can get your leg a little higher. And again, we wanna to try to keep that leg straight. Nice job. Keep working, y'all, about 10 more seconds. Can get this upper body rotation in there. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent job. Next up, we're going into a plank position. If you have a partner or someone around you, we'll face the partner. We're gonna go with some plank high fives. Okay, so we're gonna come down to a high plank. We'll be working for 30 seconds here. If you don't have a partner, it's okay. Just reach out in front. We want to come to our hands, bringing those hands underneath our shoulders, squeezing our belly, squeezing our booty, staying nice and tight. Three, two, one. We're just going to go opposite hand here. A little high five action. Now, if you're really shaky right to left, walk your feet out a little bit wider. Give yourself a little bit more of a wide base. And if that feels too easy, try to walk your feet in. So try to stay nice and steady as you lift a hand. Nice chop. Almost there, guys. Ten more seconds. Ten more seconds. Keep breathing. Good. Hold on to it. Four, three, two, one. Awesome work, y'all. Good job. Can shake that off. Next up, we're going into an inchworm. Okay, so we're going to just find some space here. Uh, Christian, yeah, you can turn to the side. Okay. We'll go through it. So just allow yourself to kind of fold down here. Good. So rounding out the spine is fine. Walking the hands forward. Beautiful. And then let's go into a little up dog here. You drop your hips, look up towards the ceiling, and then tuck. Push yourself back. Stand all the way tall. Beautiful. We have four more. We're going for five total here of our inchworms. Again, just breathing. Hanging out in any of these positions as long as you would like to. And we're going to get five here. You can keep pace with us. You can always do a couple more reps, a couple less. Either way is okay. We're just taking time to check in with our body today. Nice job. How's that feeling? Feels great. Yeah, let's get a couple more. Awesome, y'all. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. Last one. One more. Let's get one more rep in. Again, walk those hands forward. Drop the hips to the ground. Look up. And then tuck and walk your hands all the way back to your toes. Beautiful job. Awesome. So from here, we're going to grab our basketballs. Okay? So let's grab our balls. Again, you guys know by now any tool works. Hopefully you have a basketball, but if not, you can still do this drill with us, okay? What we're doing is we're going from a jab step into a squat and press with the basketball. So jab step, we're going to step one foot to the side here and drop the ball or punch the ball towards the ground. So we're extending the arms. When we come back in, we'll go into a squat and then into an overhead press. We'll do that five times on one side and then five times on the next. Ready? Here we go. Let's go together. And one. Nice. Two. Step. Squat. Press. Good. Three. There you go. Four. All the way up onto the toes. Big reach. Nice. Five. Beautiful. Just controlling that speed. Controlling your body. Other side. Ready? One. Down. Up. Good. Two. There you go. Game speed. Three. Four. Awesome job. Last one. Five. Beautiful. All right. Next up, we're going into a single leg hinge with an overhead reach. You can hold on to your ball for this one. We've been practicing these single leg hinges, so go ahead and demo, Christian. Beautiful here. One leg kicks back. Spine stays straight here. Good. As we try to reach the ball forward. So again, now we have this added weight in our hands. If not, it's okay. We're still reaching. We're going thumb up towards the ceiling. And we're just focusing on this single leg balance. Single leg stability. You'll see that Christian is keeping the soft bend in his knees each time. Okay, but we're really feeling that stretch here on the back side of our legs. As we push our hips back and kind of fall into this hinge. So our chest starts to face the floor, and that's perfectly okay. We just want to keep a proud chest. Again, spine stays long. Big reach overhead. Nice job. Balance is a huge thing. Body control is beneficial no matter what we're doing. Again, just everyday life, whether we're working out, whether we're playing a sport, balance is huge. So this gives us a chance to work on that single leg stability. Last one here. Awesome job. Let's finish it up. One more rep. Excellent job. Sweet. Now, I'm going to put my ball down. You can work at this one by yourself. You can work with a partner. If you have a partner, then one person is just going to catch the basketball. If you're working by yourself, you can continue to move through this drill with us, okay? We are going into our shooting drills. So what I want you to do is go into a bridge position. So this is just where you're bringing your hips off the floor, feet are flat on the ground. From here, we're shooting, practicing that follow through as our partner catches the ball. So we're going to go 10 reps here. One. Two, good. Three. That's four. Nice. Five, again, working on that follow through. Six, keeping those hips high. Keep squeezing your glutes. We've got that whole body engaged. Nice job. Beautiful. Four more and three. Awesome. Ten? Yep. All right, then we're going to switch it up. My turn. Again, if you're working by yourself, you can just get extra credit reps in. That's perfectly okay. We're going to come into this bridge. Ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Getting the five, wrist nice and warm here. Six, seven. In full body. Eight. Two more. Nine. Last one here. Perfect job, Matt. Thank you. Thank you. Then, guys, we'll go one leg. Now we're coming back down into this bridge position, but we're lifting one foot off the ground. So we've got a single leg bridge here, okay? We're going five reps with one leg, five reps with another. So another 10 shots, two, good job. Three, four, and one more on this side. Five, good, switch up your legs. Again, single leg glute bridge, practicing stabilizing our body. Still working on this follow through. Good, two, three, nice job. Four, five, awesome job. Last time here, partner number two, let's get it going. Ready? Mm -hmm. One, One, two, two three, four, 
last one. Awesome job, y'all. Next side here, we'll go five on each side. One, two, three, four. Last one, here we go, guys. Awesome job, man. Thank you. Awesome, we're back at home, guys. Now, first thing we're gonna get into after that warm up is our skill of the day, okay? And what we're gonna get into is a different variation of jumping here today. Usually in basketball, momentum going into our jump is a lot more efficient, right? It's a, it allows us to actually stay in the whole game and actually keep playing and jumping and cutting. cutting. And what I mean by momentum is usually when we jump, we'll have a little one-two step, mm -hmm. right? Or we'll have something that's gonna allow us to load our hips and lower body before we come up and jump. But what we're gonna do here today is we're gonna take the momentum out of it so we can build strength and more force in each jump, okay? Again, this is something that we use especially with all of our NBA players, okay? Now, I'm gonna have Natalie demonstrate one and then we'll all jump in here together, okay? We're gonna go three rounds of five reps, so really 15 total jumps, okay? Natalie's gonna start just like our hinge reach, but with two feet on the ground. She's gonna push her hips back and make sure she's tight as possible. So, if I have a partner, I might even come over here just to make sure she's tight. I'm kinda of trying to push her over and I can feel that she's tight. Her hamstrings are turned on, her legs are turned on, her hands are reaching back behind her, and then I'm gonna give her a three, two, one. She's gonna go straight on up and jump. Perfect. Now, when you guys are doing this, I'm gonna have Natalie keep going. You're gonna see when she's jumping here, she's not going down and up as quick as she can. Remember, there's no momentum. Everything stays still, and then you jump as high as you can. Everything stays still, and then jump as high as you can. There you go. Now, once you get five, that'll be one round. Feel free to take a rest for as long as you need. I'm gonna jump in here with you guys on these next five. Okay, again, back with the hips. Two, one, up, and then come back down. Perfect, again, try to really focus on guys before you jump. Don't bend and then jump. Remember, no momentum. So hips are back, everything's tight. Hop, and then come back down and land. Perfect. I'm gonna get a couple more here. Up. Perfect. Again, hips back. If someone was trying to push me, I'm staying nice and tight. And then up. Perfect. Awesome. We'll go five more times, guys. Five more reps right here. Again, we're getting a total of 15 here. Okay. Hips back. Everything tight. And then up. Perfect. Awesome. Ready? Stick your landing as well. Back. Up. Perfect. Oh, there you go. Who's jumping out the stand? <laughs> jumping out the gym. We need more space here. Two, one, and up. Perfect, two more here. Hips back, everything tight, and up. Perfect, one more time, guys, one more time. Here we go. Hips back, two, one, up. Perfect, awesome work. Good job, job Nat. Awesome job back at home. If you haven't uh, done or completed your 15 yet, simply just pause the video, get your 15 in, and then jump back with us, okay? Now, like Natalie was talking about, we got a workout of the day, and it's gonna be a full body day. So we're gonna have lower body movements, and upper body movements together. Our goal today, guys, is we're gonna work for a total of 12 minutes. We have a total of five different movements that we're gonna go back to back to back. Once we go through those reps for a certain, or uh, each movement for a certain amount of reps, that's one round, and we're gonna try to get through as many rounds as possible. Now, I always, we always try to leave you guys with a rookie, an all-star, and the MVP level. If you guys are able to finish up Four rounds, you guys are at the rookie level. Five rounds, all start. Anything above six rounds in 12 minutes, you're working at an MVP level, you're sweating, and we love that work ethic, okay? Now, we're gonna start the timer, and we're all gonna move together. The first thing we have here is gonna be on the ground. It's our running mountain climbers. We have a total of 10 reps on each leg, so 20 total. Sound good, guys? 12 minute timer in five. We'll go in a high plank, four. All we're gonna do is bring our knees up. Three, two, one, as quick as you can. We got 10 minutes, Siri's trying to tell me that my timer is on, and we're going. Again, I got a total of 20 reps here. 10 on each leg. Once we get 20, we stand on up. 10 squat jumps. Squat, jump, two, three. We got 10, guys. 10 reps here. Four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, last one, and then we have our pull plank. So on your elbow, 
small motion. Here we go. We go forward, back. That's one. Forward, back. Two. See how my hips and my shoulders are in a straight line the whole time. Legs locked out. I got 10 reps right here, guys. Three, two, and one. Perfect. Then right on after. Sumo squats. Toes facing out. I'm just going to squat and come on and get a big stretch here through the hips and the knees. Really pulling those hips wide. Pull those knees wide. Almost there, guys. Nine. Last thing we have is going to be our pipe press. Now, if pipe press, what I'm doing is too challenging, Natalie's going to show you what you can do instead of push up. Okay? So, pipe press. I'm on my toes, hands turned in. I just drop my head in between my hands. Small press here. I got a total of 10. Natalie is doing the push up. And Natalie will do 10 reps. She can go on her knees or she can go on her toes. But the second we finish that one up, we're done. That's one round. Let's keep going. That was about two minutes. Okay, so let's keep going. First thing we got, running mountain climbers. Here we go. Remember, 20 total. 10 on each side. Nat is going to keep on working. I might stop every now and then and give you a little bit of coaching, a little bit of cueing. So remember, mountain climbers, squat jumps, pool planks, sumo squats, and then pipe press. Everything 10 reps, guys. Here we go. One, two, nice two. job. Awesome work, everybody. In this one here, in this work set, breathing becomes very important. In order for you to be able to keep moving from movement to movement, round to round, you got to be able to keep your breath. We just got 10 for all these reps, okay? Mountain climbers is 20, 10 on yeah. each side. But just know that we're working for 12 minutes. Every movement has 10 reps total. Mm -hmm. And again, pipe press is too hard. Natalie's doing the push-ups. Everybody's got 10 reps. Two, three. Here we go. Eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Then we go right back to that first one. Great job, Natalie. Guys, five minutes down. Here we go. Seven more minutes to go. Come on. How many rounds? Can we get through? You take a break whenever you need to take a break. Job, Matt. Awesome. Once I finish that up, squat. Picking up the pace this week. Yep. Picking up our pace, picking up the intensity just a little bit. Awesome work, Matt. Me too. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, and again, guys, we are always going to tell you the same thing week after week, month after month. Everybody has their own pace. Everyone's going to be working at a different tempo. That's okay. You might look at us and trying to keep up with us. You might think, dang, these guys are moving a little fast. I can't keep up with us. Don't worry about that. Everybody has their own pace. Everyone will start to get better at these drills the more and more we do them. Again, what's the most important part? Is your attitude and effort every single day. Two, Some of them could be moving faster than us. A hundred percent. If there's somebody at home that's moving faster than us, beautiful. Awesome job. And keep up that tempo. Again, that's the amazing part about this program is it can help and touch so many people. Regardless of your parent, coach, player, young or old, this is for everybody. Great job, y'all. Nice work, nice work. Awesome work, y'all. Here we go. Again, we got 20 total here. 10 on each side. Second we finish that up, we come back up for our squad jumps. Woo! Here we awesome. go. Feeling good. my toes on these two, you guys. Okay, if you need to take that jump out, just come all the way up onto the toes. Good job. Awesome work, everybody. Again, very important. 
Try to sync up your breath. Try to sync up your breath and your movement here together. That's gonna give you the best opportunity to keep moving efficiently, to keep yourself moving through this full 12 minute work set. Almost there, guys. Keep breathing. This is our favorite, most non-favorite one, if that even makes sense. Great job, Nat. Seven, you too. Eight. Nine. Awesome work, y'all. Then we go right back to the top. Here we go. great to have a partner with you, help keep you moving, help keep you accountable. Maybe when you feel like taking the rest, when things get challenging, having a partner there helps keep you going, helps keep you in the game. Good job. Job, Nat. Job, everybody back at home. Here we go, guys. Come on. Here we go. Hey. Uh, Here we go. Yeah. Be good. I've got Christian pushing me here, but I'm not worried about what he's doing. I'm only worried about my attitude, my effort, and what I can do. Two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Guys, we are technically more than seven minutes down, Already? less than five minutes. Yes, ma'am. Nice. Less than five minutes to go. Here we go. Got my full planks and my sumo squats. Great job, Natalie. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Two. Great job back at home, guys. Again, continue to move. Keep breathing. Each week, we're going to keep making these movements a little bit more challenging. A little bit different for you and your family, okay? And that's what we want. We like challenges, right? If we just did push ups and squats all day, you guys have done those before. We're not gonna get better at that. So we gotta introduce you to these new style of movements so that we can become better athletes and better movers. Now, I'm gonna do a few push ups for my toes. I wanna keep the quality there. When I feel like I start to lose it, I'll go down to my knees. Nice job. Awesome work. Job, Natalie. Job, everybody. Here we go, guys. Ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Good job. Whoo. Whoo. Here we go, guys. Trying to push that tempo, but if you need to breathe, you need to grab some water. Go for it. Okay. Mm. Again, where is your challenge for today? Good job. Good job. Check that off there a little bit. Great job, Nat. Guys, we're almost there. Got about two more minutes left. A little bit more than two minutes. Let's keep pushing. Let's keep each other accountable here. Here we go. Three. Keep pressing the ground away with my elbows. Keep pressing the ground away with my hands. We got our pool planks. Ten of them there. So once I get done with my ten there, I go right to my sumo squat. I love these right here because they put more emphasis on your glutes. These other squats, it's easy to use our knees and our quads. That's where we end up getting hurt more time. These ones right here are going to really challenge not only our hip flexibility, but it's really going to challenge our glute strength. Awesome work, y'all. Nice. Keep it up. Hopefully you're finding your rhythm right now. Mm-hmm. Let's see, after my sumo squats, then I got my pipe press. Nice job. All my tippy toes, dropping my head, leaving my, high, my hips high. Two, three, four, five. Good job. Keep 
it up. You got it. Nice, hey. Christian. Whoo! I think I'm going into round six, I believe. Guys, we're almost there. We got less than 90 seconds left. Less than 90 seconds left. Here we go. Drop that. Here we go. 10 on each side. Keep on breathing. Keep on moving. Drop back. I'm gonna get at least one more round in. I gotta finish up here. Here we go, guys. Five, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Got my pull planks and my sumos. Guys, less than 60 seconds. Less than one minute left. Here we go. I feel like time is flying by. I know. Time flies when you're having so much fun. Woo! When you're challenging yourself. Time does fly. Whew. Oh man, I got 10 more here. Here we go. Good job. Two. And it's strong all the way through. Three. Woo. Guys, keep going. 15 seconds left. 15 seconds left here. We're almost done. 10 seconds. Come on now. I'm gonna clap you guys home. Five, four, three, two, one. Guys, amazing work. Take a second to breathe. Remember, if you finish up four rounds, you're at that rookie level. Five, all star, six and above, that's MVP level. You're doing at least one round in at least two minutes. That's great. Maybe even less than two minutes. That's awesome. And again, each week, we're gonna keep making this harder. So awesome work if you did great today, and if not, still tons of room and tons of time to get better. Natalie's going to take you to the decompression, and then we'll be done for our day. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Awesome job, you guys. Now, grab a quick sip. Take a moment to slow down your breath. Stretch out your body. Stretch number one here is going to be, again, interlocking our fingers behind our back. I want you to stay tall here. Pull those shoulders back and down as you drive your knuckles towards the ground. Let's roll out our neck as we breathe. So we're going to tuck our chin, drop one ear down to our shoulder, lift our chin all the way up and back, opposite ear to opposite shoulder here as we tuck our chin. That's one circle. Let's do another circle in that direction. Again, breathing nice and slow. Once we finish out circle number two, let's switch direction. Let's go two neck rolls in the opposite direction here. Continue to reach those hands down towards the ground. One more. Excellent job. Now, similar to the inchworm, we're going into a standing spinal roll. So from the standing position, we're going to tuck our chin, go into a forward fold. So you're coming down to the ground. Only when you get to the bottom here, grab opposite elbows, sway right to left, just keeping the soft bend in your knees. And then let your arms relax, let your head hang heavy as you push your knees forward, push your hips forward, and we roll and round on up. Take a breath. Let's do that one more time. We'll tuck and roll. When we get to the bottom, we'll grab opposite elbows. Sway right to left here. Coming back to the center, just letting the hands hang heavy, letting your head hang heavy as we slowly push the knees forward, push the hips forward. We roll and round on up. Beautiful job. Now, one more, we're going with our global hip circles. Soften in the knees, push your hips to the side. Just kind of checking in with our lower body here, driving your hips out and around. Just one more circle this way. Again, slowing down that breath. And let's reverse it, last two. Final rep, y'all, excellent job. Shake all that off. And maybe give someone around you a little fist bump, high five. Give yourself a pat on the back. Now, before we go, as usual, we'll leave you with our journal prompt for the day. Okay, so this is all about that mindset training, making sure that we are mentally strong, mentally tough to overcome obstacles, right? Now, today is all about attitude. And we kind of spoke to attitude throughout the workout, if you noticed. The thing about attitude is that we actually have a choice. 
Again, every single day, every single moment, we can choose what attitude we want to approach something with. And so attitude is everything, you guys. Attitude can definitely impact your ability to perform. It can impact your relationship with yourself and your relationship with others. So I want you to think about this today. What attitude do you choose on a daily basis? Think about that. Again, maybe share with your close family members, your friends. Jot it down. Excellent job, y'all. We'll see you tomorrow.